ATP, NADPH and oxygen. And the basic strategy followed by plants was that the ATP and NADPH are produced during light reaction then they are used up during dark reaction. And they are used up during dark reaction or light independent reaction. It is also called a C3 cycle or Calvin cycle. C3 cycle because the first stable compound formed during dark reaction is 3-phosphoglycerate a 3 carbon compound and Calvin cycle because it was discovered or proposed by Melvin Calvin. The process in nutshell involves reduction of carbon dioxide to give rise to carbohydrates and the process uh, three processes are involved carboxylation of ribulose 1 5 biphosphate a compound which is abbreviated as RUBP reversal of glycolysis through which glucose and other, other derivatives are formed as well as this is a cyclic process the, 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 the first compound used RUBP is regenerated also you can see the details um, this is the figure of Illustrate Calvin cycle. It's the step one here carbon fixation. Then uh, these compounds are formed 3 phosphoglycerate, 1 3 biphosphoglycerate, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Then step two involves condensation of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Uh, so um, some uh, glucose and other uh, material and derivatives are formed. Then finally, step three regeneration of uh, ribulose 1 5 biphosphate. This is uh, uh, Calvin cycle. You can see. In detail here the first of all it's carbon fixation means carbon dioxide is fixed so for this this compound uh, six molecules of ribulose 1 5 biphosphate which is a 5 carbon compound so totally 6 into 5 30 molecules of carbon combines with the six molecules of carbon dioxide that is six molecules of carbon so that total of 36 molecules of carbon give rise to 12 molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate which means uh, 3 phosphoglycerate into 12 again 36 molecules of carbon this is called carbon fixation fixation of carbon dioxide by carboxylation of RUBP which is catalyzed by a particular enzyme Rubisco ribulose biphosphate oxygenase carboxylase a unique enzyme uh, in, in the enzyme world or living world it's a very slow enzyme so plants accumulate these enzymes in the leaves and that's why this is uh, actually the most abundant enzyme or protein in the living world. It's a very unique enzyme because it actually catalyzes carboxylation as well as oxygenation to contrasting types of reactions. The, the compound formed here 3 phosphoglycerate is converted to 1 3 by phosphoglycerate with uh, phosphorylation and expenditure of 12 molecules of ATP. And this is a, a short-lived uh, compound, 1,3-biphosphoglycerate, which immediately uh, gets reduced as well as dephosphorylated to give 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So there is the uh, utilization of ATP as well as NADPH, which were produced during light reaction. The, out of the 12 molecules of uh, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, two of them are used for condensation. That is step two, condensation. That means six molecules of carbon give rise to 6 carbon uh, compound which forms uh, fructose 6-phosphate and other uh, glucose and uh, glucose um, and as well as sucrose and other carbohydrates. So out of uh, uh, 12, 2 goes for condensation here and the rest of the 10 molecules are used for the regeneration of RUBP here. So that forms a cyclic uh, process. Uh, RUBP regeneration uh, involves conversion of 10 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to ribulose 5-phosphate. Then uh, 6 molecules of ATP are further used, uh, used up for step-by-step -step conversion of uh, uh, this or regeneration of um, 6 molecules of uh, ribulose 1,5-biphosphate like this. And uh, this is uh, further um, illustrated here. Uh, fixation of carbon dioxide by carboxylation of RUBP, uh, phosphorylation of 3-phosphoglycerate uh, uh, as well as reduction of 1,3-biphosphoglycerate and uh, finally 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde uh, that is condensation, con go undergoes condensation uh, and uh, finally regeneration of RUBP. So all these we already discussed. Uh, the regeneration actually involves uh, many other enzymes also, more steps also, uh, aldolase, transketolase, as well as epimerase and isomerase are involved. Uh, those steps we have not shown in the um, figure. 
yeah, but definitely in, it involves these steps also the regeneration involves uh, uh, expenditure of ATP molecules also six of them and uh, this is a more simplified uh, process of cy a Calvin cycle uh, you can uh, learn this also and uh, we can uh, uh, see the energy calculation for C3 cycle a total of uh, six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of RUVP are used up first along with 12 molecules of NADPH and uh, NADPH and 18 molecules of ATP. So this is the formula, 6 carbon dioxide plus 6 RUBP, 12 NADPH plus 18 ATP uh, the, for, the, uh, for the synthesis of C6H12O6, that is the carbohydrate representation for carbohydrate, uh, RUBP used up are reformed, then 12 NADP plus 18 ADP and 18 organic phosphate molecules are also produced the enzyme involved is ribulose biphosphate the critical enzyme or the crucial enzyme involved is ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase as we discussed uh, actually the 50 percentage of the protein in leaf uh, is constituted by uh, this particular enzyme so that's why this is more the most abundant enzyme in the living world now, from a fructose 6-phosphate, which is formed by condensation of uh, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, we can uh, give rise or produce uh, glucose 6-phosphate, then glucose 1-phosphate. Uh, glucose 1-phosphate combines with the uh, uridine triphosphate to give UDPG. And UDPG, uh, obviously, it is, the, uh, it is the precursor of uh, production of sucrose. So, from this, sucrose can be produced. And uh, then... Uh, instead of uh, udpg uh, adpg or cdpg or gdpg uh, can also be produced uh, these are the precursors of starch but not udpg udpg cannot be cannot be cannot be used for synthesis of starch and uh, udpg can be used for the synthesis of cellulose but now uh, this is the summary of uh, dark reaction or light independent reaction overall input is carbon dioxide and atp and NADPH, the overall output is glucose and other derivatives of glucose.